hello everyone this is the first tutorial and in this tutorial we will see how to use colon operators to slice a matrix so in the last tutorial we have seen how to create some simple matrices so in this tutorial I will show you how to access a particular element in matrix and how to get a particular portion of a matrix so let me first create a matrix So I have created a matrix of order 3 by 5. So let's say we want to access this particular item. So I will specify its uh, index. So if this is in the first row. So I'm going to write 1 and this is in the second column. So if you can see here, uh, you need to specify the number of uh, the index of the row and the index of the column. And the indexing is start from one, not from zero. Okay. Now let's see what is this colon operator. This colon operator actually create a vector of indices. Indices. So if I if I write uh, one colon eight, so it will generate a vector, and that vector will be having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So it will generate a vector. Now, how it can be used to slice a matrix? Okay, so let's say I want uh, first two columns of this matrix. Okay, I just need first two columns. So I know when I want to access a matrix, first I need to specify index of row, then I need to specify index of column. So what is the index of row? I need all the rows. So here you can write colon without any values so we are not specifying any values here so when you want to specify any value it means uh, it will take all the rows if the same will be specified in the column part it means all the column will be taken and here we need only first two column so here I will write one column two so just look at this notation again in the row part we are saying that we want all the rows because we have not specified any values here and in the column part where we need to specify the index for the column we are uh, giving a vector and this vector is having value 1 and 2 so in the column part we are gi giving 1 2 so this command will get you first two columns of this matrix so just execute it so if you can see here we got first two columns now let's say we want to get first two rows of this matrix so similarly now uh, so in this time what we want we want all the columns so in the column section we will put colon without any value and in the rows part we need only first two rows so one column two let's execute it see so uh, this column operator is very important to slice in matrix if you want to a part, a access particular portion of a matrix you can use the column operator now let me show you one more example now let's say I want to access this particular matrix six seven eight nine So how many number of rows I want? I want here two rows. This one and this one. Okay. And the index of rows starting from 2 and 3. We don't want the first row. We want second and third row. So here I will write 2 column 3. Okay. So which columns I want? I want this column and this column. Okay. So the indexing, if you will see, first column, second column, third column, fourth column, fifth column. So I want fourth and fifth. So I will write here four column fifth. So we successfully accessed this matrix. So if you can see, we can success, we can easily access any portion of the matrix using colon operator. So I just want to tell you one more notation for colon operator. If you want 
when you generate a vector using column, let's say two column eight. So the if you can see these number, these numbers are separated by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is the default behavior. But if you want to change it, you can write here two column point five column eight. So the meaning of this one is that the starting index is two, the ending index is eight, and the increment will be done by point five. So it will be two, two point five, three, three point five, and so on. Okay, so this is the way we can change the default behavior of column operator. Thank you very much for watching.